welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Karen, and today I'm talking about one of my favorite things, which is saving money and shopping smart. So my first tip is actually to use ShopTiger, um, who is actually sponsoring this video. So for those of you who don't know what ShopTiger is, it is honestly a lifesaver when it comes to buying stuff on sale, um, which is always better than paying full price for something. So basically, um, ShopTiger is a browser extension and an app that allows you to make a wish list of all of the things that you want. Um, and you can even classify them, so you know, like into tops, bottoms, shoes, etc. And basically the best part about it is that you can choose to get notified once it goes on sale. So you could choose which kind of sale you want or any kind of discount. And also, um, there's a bunch of sales coming up uh, soon. There's Memorial Day, there's Bank Day, there's Netta Porter's uh, semi-annual sale. I also know Ritzia has sales coming up in June. And these are all things that like you don't necessarily have to keep track of and that Shop Tiger will do for you. So um, another cool thing is that even if you're late to the sale, uh, you can even choose when to get to get notified when things are back in stock so usually when there's a sale people will buy like a bunch of different sizes and then send back the ones that didn't fit and then you will get the notification that they're back in stock so it's just a super cool hack to save time save money and just also um keep all of your wish lists in order so yeah i definitely recommend trying out shop tiger for yourself and if you want to, uh, there's a link down below where you could just download it and get started with it and start saving your money. My next tip um, is also really helpful uh, to use Shop Tiger for, so it's to invest in basics. And also when investing in these basics, it's always best to save as much money as possible by using, um, you know, things like Shop Tiger, subscribing to the company's emails so you get uh, notified when they have discounts, uh, influencer codes, um, Googling coupon codes. Like basically when you're shopping online, you can po probably find a way to save money. Um, on the specific item just by taking a little bit more time to find those discounts and when you're investing in basics if you do that for every single time it adds up to a lot of money at the end a recent example that i have of me doing this is i really wanted a pair of good leather boots that were both comfortable and that i really loved that i could wear to work because i spent all day walking around on my feet and um i found these boots at uh, Neterval, so these are made in Spain with real leather and um, just like I've worn these really often and they still look brand new and um, they were very pricey um, but it was definitely something I knew I wanted to invest in and I went online on the website and I found that when you signed up you got 10% off and I know that seems like silly to just you know buy it online and just save 10%. If I do this with everything I buy, once again, it just adds up. So what I mean by um, investing in basics, it's kind of like a two-part thing. So my tip number two is like invest in basics and tip number three is to save on trendy items. So basically, depending on everybody's personal style, there's, you know, a couple of things that they wear all the time. You know, like for me, I invested, you know, in a good pair of jeans, some good jackets, winter jackets, because I live in Canada, um, just basic white, black tees, uh, just stuff like that, that you know you wear often, you want to last a long time, versus trends that come and go so fast, um, and that probably you'll only get to wear a couple of times. You don't want to spend as much money on that, so um, when it comes to trends, I like, you know, spending money um, at like fast fashion retails like Boohoo has really good affordable uh, trendy items Forever 21 stuff like that and that kind of brings me to tip number four which is um, to get familiar with like materials and what is in your clothing so when you buy something expensive it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good quality so when you are ready to invest in um, clothing you want it to last years not weeks so it's always good to look at the tags see what's in it so like natural materials are usually better quality than like synthetic fibers like polyester and rayon rayon usually wrinkles so easily it's impossible to wear whereas buying stuff like cotton linen uh, wool 
stuff like that is um, definitely better quality, you know, as a rule of thumb. And one of my tricks, uh, basically, that I have learned to do is when I buy an item of clothing and I notice that I, it's just like perfect, like, you know, the way it feels, the way it fits, everything, I will look at the tag and I will look at the blend that it is and then when I'm shopping I will try to find similar items to that and honestly this just helps by not having an accumulation of clothing that you don't end up wearing because you know you washed it once and it just fits horribly and it avoids you know getting you know 10 black t-shirts that you don't wear as opposed to one t-shirt that you wear all the time because you love it so much so my tip number five is gonna seem super redundant because I'm telling you to save your money but then I'm also telling you to invest but it's to invest in accessories and this is my last tip about spending a lot of money but basically what i mean by that is that you can have a super plain outfit and then throw on like a pair of ray-bans or like have you know some jewelry or something to just kind of like spice it up and make it look better and like let's say your outfit didn't cost you a lot of money but then your accessories will make your outfit and make you look more stylish so this is something that I am like the queen of so my tip number six is thrift shopping you guys know that I love thrifting and probably I would say 80% of my closet is thrifted so I could have an outfit that's like cost me less than $50, sometimes less than $10, no exaggeration. And then I will throw on like my Ray-Bans and you know, my designer bag and some statement shoes and I am good to go. Sometimes another thing when I say accessories, and one that I find super important is your jewelry. I have jewelry that I wear with me all the time and it just kind of like became a part of me in a way. So I have my statement. Uh, necklace that's like the little k i got it for my birthday so obviously if you don't want to you know buy your own jewelry you could always ask you know your parents or your grandparents for like a birthday a graduation gift or something like that and it's something once again that you will wear for years and years and basically how i first got into jewelry was i started with rings i actually got these two silver rings here uh, from Pandora. Pandora is definitely, I would say, a more affordable uh, place to start. So these rings were about $30 each. So it's definitely not too much. And then I started getting more rings as I traveled and went to different places. They were, you know, real silver rings were pretty affordable when traveling. And, um, you know, then decided to get like a second piercing, which I find, which I absolutely love the look of. And I sometimes, I always like, you know, add some necklaces and like add on to those pieces that I wear every day just to like change up the look. Okay, so yeah, my tip number six that I briefly mentioned is thrift shopping, so my favorite. And so you have pieces that are original and also that you know have already lasted a long time and if they still look good, then chances are they'll still last for a while. And also in older clothes, you do find more of those natural, um, you know, materials that I was talking about as opposed to more synthetic ones that you'll find in fast, fast fashion retailers. Um, so the only thing with thrifting is that obviously it's harder to find a specific piece that you want, but that's why thrifting online is also awesome. I love to use the ASOS Marketplace, uh, Depop, also when it comes to like designer things that are secondhand, you know, Grailed is a really good option. And just as an example of how great thrifting can be, I wanted to share with you one of my most recent finds. I'm someone who loves to get outfit inspiration. I'm, lately I've been seeing leather jackets that are longer and I've really been wanting one and um, obviously I don't want to spend six, seven hundred dollars on a jacket. Um, so I've been looking in thrift stores because they're pretty easy to find in thrift stores and very affordable and I found the perfect one. I was so happy the other day. I went to um, Value Village. It was a 50% off day. I always subscribe to the thrift stores I shop at because you will get um, emails when, when they have discounts. This leather jacket was originally $19.99. So it cost me $10 for a real leather jacket and you know it's just crazy to me how affordable this was and how it's probably going to stay in my closet for the rest of my life and get a lot of wear. So moving on to my tip number 7 which is something that I just mentioned is mood boards. So um, 
the bookmark feature on Instagram is literally my favorite thing that happened to me on Instagram. Um, I literally made a whole video about how I save outfits with pieces that are similar to stuff that I have in my closet just so when I really have like zero outfit ideas or inspiration I will just scroll through it and like find so um, many ways to wear my clothes in ways that I wouldn't have thought of so you guys should definitely check out that video so yeah like when you're making your mood boards not only are you taking into consideration like things that you want you're also getting style inspiration and you could kind of just um, you know, figure out what you like in the outfits, what you don't like, and what you kind of want your style to be, and what you're aiming for, and stuff like that. This brings me to tip number eight, which is to know what is in your closet. So once again, you don't wanna end up with 10 of the same things that you already have. So it's so good to just do a nice, like, closet clean out. You will be so surprised by the things that you have in there that you forgot that you had. And also, you can just get rid of the things that you don't wear to make room for new things that you will now be kind of being more careful with your purchases, less impulse buys, and you know, sticking to your wish list and the things that you need. So my tip number nine is to take all of this leftover clothes that you know that you love, that's properly organized in your closet, and um, when you wear it, basically something that I love to do is I have this thing where I always need like three parts to make like a good outfit instead of just having like a top and a bottom and like that's all you're thinking about for your outfit just like that third thing that like really makes your outfit you know stand out a little bit keep in mind to always accessorize always have like that little statement piece that really makes your outfit or you know that pop of color or that little print or like something special um, you know obviously this will depend on your personal style but I always like having you know something that makes the outfit stand out a little bit more take it to that next level and my last tip is a super super easy one but I find it makes the whole world of a difference and it's just to like bear in mind all those little details so you guys may have noticed I always have my nails done so nail polish is a big one for me there's nothing worse than like seeing someone with chipped nails like no offense like I know it's not easy to maintain your nails but it's just something small like when I'm watching like Netflix or something when I have a little bit of time I will just touch up my nails and they always just look you know readily done and you know I feel like either have nail polish or no nail polish there's nothing wrong with that either but just you know making sure that you're properly maintained um, and I find having nice nails makes me feel so much more put together and then you know other little things like steaming your shirt if it's wrinkled or um, you know if your pants are if you bought pants that are a little bit too long in your closet and you haven't worn them yet take it to get it tailored and get it hemmed so that you could wear them other things like you know the way that you style your hair keeping in mind like all those little details that you maybe might not be thinking of and that will just really help improve your overall look um, and also when I just take all of these things into consideration it not only helps me feel more stylish but just like in general better about myself and the way that I look and the way that I feel so yeah that was it on my top 10 tips on how to just kind of stay stylish or look stylish on a budget and save your money and spend more wisely um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and um, if you want to download Shop Tiger, which once again, you should try it out. I mean, it is free, so you literally have nothing to lose. It will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Love you guys!